Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to, well not to Morrowind, but to the Elder Scrolls 3. And welcome to Tribunal. Because it's that time. Sorry, I've moved my camera and I have no idea how it should be looking. So, here we are, I guess. Now, for those of you who have not watched my Morrowind playthrough... I recommend you do, because that's who we're playing as today. Um, and this guy naturally does not spawn in here. But some may remember that he's the guy... It's so good to meet you. Because I was, I was running around uh, the battlements looking for... They tell you to go find Apley's Ap Matthias, or whatever his name is. Is there something you need? Is there something you need? Don't go anywhere. Let me find a guard here. Yeah, they tell you to find Apuleius Matthias on the battlements. Yes. But as it happens, he's not there in my game because he spent time yes. chasing Stunner. me all around the world. I feel as though I should know you. So I had to console command him back here because I couldn't find him after I looked for like 10 minutes. Anyway, um, we could probably do this right now. But it's just a normal... Oh, wait. Let's find somewhere to sleep. Can we sleep out here without getting in trouble? Oh, Jesus. It doesn't matter. The point is... We at some point were attacked by the Dark Brotherhood. Did you because something? we went to sleep. What's this about the Dark Brotherhood? You say you've been attacked by them. The fact that you're standing here seems to suggest otherwise. Perhaps you have an attack. That's bad business. I don't know who it is that wants you dead, and I don't want to know. Dark Brotherhood activity here on Vardenfell has almost been unheard of, but I know they have a large contingent back on the mainland. Yes, in Mournhold itself, actually. If you're pe feeling particularly suicidal, you can check it out yourself. Not easy to get there these days. Even though the blight seems to be gone, Morrowind is wary of visitors from Vardenfell. One, may, might, one way you might get there, though, speak with Asin... Asina Ran... For transport to Mournhold. She might be able to help you out. Uh, yeah. You wish to go to the mainland? That's highly irregular. I'm sure you've heard they restricted travel to Mournhold. Been a bit worried about the Blight. Even though it's been reported the Blight has gone from Mor uh, from Vardenfell, they're worried about possible contamination. <coughs> Sorry, I've got some coffee here. I actually do, in fact, have two cups of coffee. because one wasn't enough. Uh, what's your reason for wanting to go to the city? I fear I've been marked by the Dark Brotherhood, of course. Oh my, I can see why you'd want to get that cleared up. Dangerous business, although I can't say I'd be happy to send you off on that sort of fool's errand. If you're sure, I can oblige you. If you need to return to Vardenfell, speak with Effie Tai in the Royal Palace. Take care, friend. Those people are not to be taken lightly. I'll send you there when we're finished speaking. Oh. Right in, huh? What are you wearing? You look cool. Oh, no. City of light. City of magic. What kind of... Die. Wow, you're strong. So anyway, um... You may recall that this whole island here is Vardenfell, and then this little one is Soul's Time, and then, oops, there we go. And then down here somewhere, as you can see as I'm gesturing with my mouse, is um, mainland Morland, which is connected to Cyrodiil, Sky. You know, it's connected to town. The rest of the this guy's fucking tough, huh? I'm very glad. I was worried that I would be a little overleveled for the DLC, but considering that this is where the guards sit, this appears to be a pretty decent place for it. So let's take a look at what you're actually wearing. This is medium armor. 
Hmm. Adamantium's like wowzers. Now, I did want to try to level my um, light armor, but that is some bitchin' looking gear. Mornhold. City I of what it's light. Made of. City of magic. Yeah, you can see that light armor is my lowest armor skill. So I'm going to need to catch that up there. Huh? Wow. So yeah, Mornhold is apparently like... Oh, I'm still in Ebonheart, according to the map. So Vivek is the capital of Martinfell, but I think Mornhold is the capital of all of Morwen. Wow. For king and emperor. So I guess I'm just going to be... Like... I guess this is the go-between. Emperor, record, by the way. king, and justice, citizen. I've never actually played this. Oh, the royal guard is who I have to talk to. Well, I'll be right down. One moment, sirs. Justice never sleeps. It's true. Uh, Dark Brotherhood. I don't know why you'd want to go with like looking for those demons. They live in the sewers beneath the Great Bazaar. Oh, the wonderful Dark Brotherhood. Eastern section of town. We don't want any trouble, so mind your manners. Okay. That's the south. East side. Down. A spiny Loremore, huh? Wow, this is cool. I've never actually played uh, the Morrowind DLCs. Oh, what you're who I need to talk to to teleport back. Le basement. A skeleton. And a ghost. And a rat. All right. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Oh, but it's a skeleton champion, though. I'll be honest, this is definitely a DLC sewer. I can tell that it looks different. Bizarre sewers, here we go. Who might you be? Wow, it's a skeleton mage. This is cool, a lich. I guess that's what those are called. So yeah, I, I have no idea what happens in this DLC. I know that you can fight on Alexia in it. Uh, in fact, I saw a screenshot because uh, someone like killed her in their game last night and posted a picture of her corpse and like, with this character's death, the threat of prophecy is severed. Reload now, persist in the doomed world, yada yada, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I know that it takes place in Mournhold, and it's the only time you actually get to see the other two gods. Um, I know that Sothasil is dead. But where are the Black Dart gang? They've robbed me of everything I hold dear. They ambush me and my lover in the temple sewers. <laughs> Why are you in there? Verner held the moth while I ran. When I turned to look back, he was down. I kept running. Now Verner's ghost comes to me at night, begging me to come to him, rescue him. He says there's a message for me, but I can't go down there. Can't face the Black Dart Gang. He was a great fighter, but with one dart, he was dead in seconds. They'd kill me for sure. That's that little... Oh, okay. She looks over here. I don't know. I don't think you stand a chance against the Black Dart Gang. They dress like poor beggars, but they throw deadly poison darts. One's enough to kill you. If you see him run, but if you see the ghost, speak to him. Perhaps you can bring me his message. Outlander. What do you want? Oh, cool. I can't believe these jackasses are actually in the sewers. <laughs> So I am wearing the only set of light armor in the game better than Dark Brotherhood gear, I think. 
which actually means that I'm wearing the best set of Dark Brotherhood gear, or the best set of light armor, rather. See, now, if I had magic, I could just start picking them off from up here, but sadly, this character doesn't have any. Uh, and if you would care to know why, you should definitely watch the video wherein I uh, did everything my moral character does. Jump, jump, jump. Adelon Sword, here we go. There we go. How am I doing, actually? Oh, I'm doing well. Perfect. Tadric Tonto, nice. Sithis. That's a good weapon, I'm taking that. I will? Alright, come on, bring it in. There you go, how does that feel? Dark Brotherhood Punisher. And I guess these are Dark Brotherhood rats. That's painful. Justice never sleeps. God, you sound like the fucking. For kick. You actually, though, sound like the goddamn dudes in, uh. The Half Life DLC, Opposing Force, the downloadable content. See, back in my day, those were called expansions, but I digress. Good for the Empire, good for all, eh, citizen? Uh, no. Do, 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 do. So, can I not leave the city? Oh, wow! Hello there, Dark Elf. Before you take another step, uh,. I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Gainor, and I'm an entrepreneur. So I wonder if I'd ask a favor of you. I'm glad you asked. You asked me, dickhead. As you may have noticed, I'm not looking my best at the moment. And you will be at any other time. I'm a little, shall we say, down on my luck, which is not something I'm used to, let me tell you. At any rate, I'm looking to, for the starting capital to get things rolling here in Rorholm. I recently arrived myself as well, and I thought you might be able to help me out. Could you part with 50 gold? Uh, sure. I do appreciate it. I must say, you're quite the generous soul. As long as we're talking, you get along so well. Can you spot me another 100? Quite sure I can pay you back in a few days' time. I've always had excellent luck when it comes to these things. What do you say? Uh, go to hell. Maybe not being clear here, but I'm trying to say I would really appreciate it if you could help me out a little bit. It's only 100 gold. I'm sure you've got that much. Fuck you. You might- Fuck you! No one says no to gain whore. Useless tourists. No one can challenge me. What? <laughs> he had a uh, recall Fancy prepped. See, I wish to be left alone. 
Okay, so he's got a he's got a gambit going. Yes. Oh, Marahelas. Give her the temple and receive the blessings of Almalexia. What's Almalexia gonna do with this money? Almalexia watches over her children, the sick, needy, and poor. Well, not in person. She used to in person, but she's made no public appearances for years. Uh, yeah. Has it not sunk into these people? That I guess you can start the DLC at any time. Yo. Justice never sleeps. High Ordinator. Oh, they call me Norbury. I don't think these look as cool as Ordinator Classic. I, I feel like it has too much going on. Like, it's kind of got a dress, and it's kind of got more like spikes and scarves. I don't know. Definitely not as good as the regular ordinary. Sorry, not interested. The Tundra's heart, Dark Elf. Excuse me. Says bells. It's always cool seeing the, um, like, parts of the Elder Scrolls that you haven't seen before. It's why I really wish that uh, Elder Scrolls Online was in any form enjoyable. Very bizarre. So it's probably a better option to, like, insert from here. <laughs> it's never easy. Greeting, Dark Elf. I am Marin Othralas, founder of the Mournhold Players. Sure you came to watch our production of the Horror of Castle Zir. Sorry to inform you won't be putting on the show today. The troop has its own drama to worry about at the moment. Is that so? Yes, well, wouldn't you know, the day we were supposed to debut the show, our lead actor, Tarvis Bileth, comes down with Collywobbles. What is that? Is that like... Is that an old way of saying diarrhea? Yeah, I think it is. We can't find anyone to take over his part. I would do it, but my experience is greatly needed backstage. I've just got to stand up here and try to drive people away from our heavily promoted production. I wish we could find someone who looks like Tarvis. Wait a minute. You kind of look like Tarvis. It's my work. What do you say, Dark Elf? I'd love to have you. Would you like to take on the part of... Uh, Clavidius? Captain of the Imperial Guard? I would love to. Here's copy the script. People are already starting to gather, so we need to get the show started. I'm sure you know the horror of Castle Zur quite well. Of course you do. Uh, no re need for a lengthy rehearsal. Read the script in the next two minutes and talk to me again. Don't come back within two minutes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I guess I need to... Where is this thing? Horror of Castles of. Okay. Dramatic Personae. Clavity is. Cyrodelic. <laughs> Do I? Because at first I thought he was, like, being legitimate because we are both Dunmer with red hair. And he was like, I was thinking about taking over the part, but hey, you can do it. And, like, if we're both Dunmer with red hair, then that makes a lot of sense that he would we ask me to take it over. Well. But, <laughs> hey, Dark Elf, uh, talk to Marin backstage. Yeah. Let me see if I'm reading this right. Okay, so I'm supposed to be the main character in this play. Cyrodelic. From, I guess it means from Cyrodiil. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean an Imperial, but like, it kind of does. Alyss, Lieutenant of the Imperial Guard in Argonian. Zalasa, an Argonian mage. Late evening. The play opens in the interior grand entrance hall of a castle in Skath Anud, replete with fine furnishings and tapestries. Torches provide the only illumination. In the center of the foyer is a great iron door, the main entrance to the castle. Straight up the staircase up to the landing 
uh, the staircase up to the landing above is next to this door. On stage left is the door to the library, which is currently closed. On stage right is a huge suit of armor, 20 feet tall, nearly touching the ceiling. Though no one can be seen, there's a woman singing coming from the library door. A loud thumping knock on the iron front door stops the woman singing. The door to the library opens and Anara, a Dunmer, common looking maid, comes out and hurries to the front door. Clavies, a handsome man in imperial garb, stands there. Good evening to you, Serho. Good evening, is your master at home? No, Serho, it's only me here. My master, Sidura Kenna Tilvani Hordaf Zira, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Possibly, would you mind if I come in? Not at all, Serho. May I offer you some flynn? Clavy comes to the hall and looks around. No, thank you. What's your name? Anara. Anara, when did your master leave Skath Anud? More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me. All the other servants and slaves tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Yeah, do you know an Ashlander by the name of Sul Karifa? Huh. No, Sergio. I know no one by that name. You aren't lucky to see him now. He's dead. <laughs> Uh, he was found a few hours ago dying of frostbite in the Ashlands. Frostbite in the area of Morrowind dominated by a giant fuck-off volcano, huh? He was hysterical and nearly incomprehensible, but his last among his last words were Castle and Xur. Dying of frostbite in summertime in the Ashlands? Bevec, that's strange. That is strange. Also, Bevec is uh, some slang. It's shortened language. It's by Vivek. So they shortened it to Vivek. I suppose it's possible Master knew this man, but being an Ashlander, my master being of House Telvani, uh, you'll pardon me for being flippant, I don't think they'd be friends. Telvani are all racists, you've got a point. Oh, you can scroll, I didn't know. Is that your master's library? Would you mind if I looked in? Please, Sergio, go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal Imperial subjects. As I hear, are all Telvani. Note from the playwright, this line should be delivered without sarcasm. Trust the audience to laugh. It never fails. <laughs> that is that is so Shakespearean. Of like, oh, the king? But he hasn't fucked any prostitutes recently. Now, I haven't been in town in 20 years, but I assume that's still the same, right? And the actors is like, dude, that is so awesome. <laughs> Oh, all Telvanni are like that. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. This library needs dusting. Yes, Serzo. I was just doing that when you knocked on the door. Should I be reading this, actually, or should I just... Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Should I be, like, actually reading this, or will I just have a chance to read it all again? <laughs> Cause maybe. Oh, there's a guide. Okay, cool. I'll have that open. Good job. You're right on time. Let's get the show on the road. Head through that door. Hit your mark in the center of the rug next to Gurin, stand still and deliver your lines. Move quickly through the door, timing is everything, and be careful. The audience will know the play well, and I'll be counting your mistakes. Break a leg. Could it get any worse? Good evening to you, Sir Joe. Good evening, is your master. Hello, I've come to borrow some sugar. <laughs> okay, I want to do it right. No, Sir Joe, it's only me here. My master, Sadura Kenna Talvani Hordalf Zier, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Possibly. Would you mind if I came in? Not at all, Sir Joe. Please, may I offer you some flint? I think I say no thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, I prefer Zujama. I do. No thank you. What's your name? Anara, Sir Joe. Uh, I'm trying to not use the guide, but Anara, when did your master leave? Scott, I'm More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sir Joe. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Uh, Sul Karifa. I remember because it reminds me of DJ Khaled for some reason. You don't ask that by Sul Karifa. No, Sir Joe, I know no one by that name. Okay, normally the ridiculous. 
normally the ridiculous things are, um, like the overacting is just like, run away. Like it almost takes you out of it because it's so corny. But like, this is exactly the kind of corniness that you would expect, right? He's dead. He last said, well, the actual line is his last words included Castle and Zer, but I think this is it. Vec, that's strange. I suppose it's possible that my master knew this man, but being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Telvanni, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sergio, I don't think they would be friends. I think it's the library. I'll check the guide. Master's library. Okay, it is. Please, there, Joe, go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal Imperial subjects. I don't see how you claim it. No, you're not. As I hear are all Telvani and deliver it without sarcasm. <laughs> Wait. Is this a heckler? Is this how hecklers show up? <laughs> In Morrowind. I have successfully defended myself from an assassin who assaulted me in the middle of my performance. The play obviously cannot go on. Perhaps I should speak to Marin about what just happened. <laughs> he had a Daedric sword? Yoink. <laughs> Marin, I've been assaulted. Not bad for an amateur. Oh yeah, I saw what happened. I hope you can forgive us, but we... What the hell? We knew an assassin would attack sooner or later. Yeah, well, you see, our lead actor had an indecent tryst with the daughter of a Telvanni diplomat. The diplomat caught him in the act and vowed revenge. Since Tarvis regularly uh, changes residences frequently, we knew an attack would come during his performance when the diplomat could be sure of Tarvis's location. Go on. Hopefully, since you were able to dispatch the would-be assassin, Diplomat won't try again. I know the services of Morag Tong are very expensive to enlist. They are. I apologize for using you in the manner, Galena Pitchblend, but I hope you understand why it was necessary. He's calling me by my name now. Yes. I do still intend to pay you in full. Uh, during the play, I didn't count him a single mistake. Very impressive, but your acting skills could use some improvement. Take this gold and this amulet that will improve your acting whenever you need it. Thank you again, and I hope you can forgive us. That was delightful. That was super fun. <laughs> At first, I thought that that guy was offended by the implication that Telvanni are, um... <laughs> loyal to the Empire. How dare you say that? We're all racist wizards who like owning slaves. How dare you say that we're loyal? Uh... I got this, uh, new sword I don't need. Can you... Thank you. So, <laughs> That's where so are you from? awesome. I'm not happy about the treatment, but Marin did reward me. Uh, come and share it with my performance. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, oh. You, you'll buy... Will you buy my alchemies? I suppose there's no real reason to sell her the bug lamp. It's not worth anything. This is that cursed Daedra heart. There, lighten my load a little bit. you I really don't need the money but you know what I uh, do enjoy having it it does not rain. pardon me friend but I'm not feeling talking to excuse me please a lot of people won't give me the time of day That's one coffee empty. Y'all ever drink so much coffee that you can feel your organs in pain? Uh, 
I don't know why, but I kind of like it. Hey there, boy. What's the word? His name is Juan. <laughs> well, my friend, not a familiar face, but new to Mortal, are you? Don't suppose you've arrived with any female friends. They're getting quite well with the women, you know. The ladies, I do like them. Can't get enough of them. <laughs> Who can? Haha. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to know any eligible ladies, would you, Galena Pitchman? I'm looking for a saucy wench that can satisfy me. That's all ordered to be sure, but you never know. So if you're in love with any, um, no. Fair enough. Uh, hardly expect someone like you to pick out a female I'd miss. Quite the eye for beauty if I do say so myself. What the fuck are you talking about? A pompous looking man. Yeah, you got that right. Uh, me? May all speak well. I really do like... I, I, I know for a fact that I've already mentioned this, because as I record this, the, uh, I redyed my hair, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's a darker green now. <clears throat> One reason the camera's on this side is so that you can see it a little better, but I really should at least this part of my hair. Old Bizarre Sewers. Anya does not know you. What do you want? I feel like these. F I feel like some of these faces and hairstyles are new for the DLC. <laughs> Can't believe I got fucking jumped while putting on a play. <laughs> the fact that. They go out of their way to mention, deliver this line without being ironic or yucking it up. People will laugh a hundred percent of the time, every time. <laughs> oh, what are you? Goblin, eh? A goblin sword? Oh, wow. It's my lucky day. Wow, it looks like shit. I think this is the way. I don't think it is anymore. I previously thought that it was the way, but not anymore. But yeah, um, in case anyone is curious about my titling and how these games come out, the game that I have been playing is not actually called Morrowind. It's called The Elder Scrolls 3 colon Morrowind. And, um... I think every game is named like that. And when the DLC comes out, it's not... Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim colon Dragonborn. It's just The Elder Scrolls 5 colon Dragonborn. It's its own separate thing. Probably shouldn't be in here yet. Also, the fact that these sewers lead right to the... I guess I guess Mornhold is one giant, like, city building. Like, not even like Vivek is, or, or Scar uh, in Aldrin. And granted, Scar is like a little, you know, city-state or something, but... I digress. Pizzazz. What kind of sword is this? It's a short blade. No wonder I'm doing so much damage with it. Durzog. If you rearrange those letters, you get Zerdog. The West Source. I'll be honest, the Goblin Sword kind of sucks, but kind of like its grossness. It would be cool if that was a stat. I've dragged myself off topic. Pardon me, everyone. Anyway, so yeah, this game is properly called The Elder Scrolls 3. And the main game is called Morrowind. And the first DLC is called Tribunal, which we are currently in. And the next DLC is called Blood Moon. Which is why... Uh,
Uh, which is why I have chosen to call this just Tribunal. So yeah, that's why the video itself is specifically called the Elder Scrolls 3 Tribunal. Good spear. I wonder if the guards have any good spears. Maybe I could steal some. What are all of you guys doing down here? Talk to the boss. I, I must be boss. going so if you could talking. Make it Welcome to my world, where we do things. <laughs> yeah, I'll be with you in a second, sir. Wow, I'm actually getting my butt kind of kicked. <laughs> I need more healing stuff. Did I throw away Mother's Ring? Needs to look here, I guess. I still have Mother's Ring. Okay, cool. Excuse me, Sarah. Well, you're the Reverend. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to my world, where we do things Draft. my way. I let the boss do all the talking. Talk right. to the boss. I'm listening. He seems to just be getting distracted with me. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, look at that noise. Wow, I'm super dead. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna fly in back to the Dark Brotherhood place off camera. While exploring around, I found this, and boy, this looks cool. Look at that here. Major Prince of some variety. I'm Alexi and Mayrun's Dagon. Eastern section. never sleeps. Boy, this map is not helpful. Like. Say what you will about Skyrim, but the fact that, like, the first DLC gets added to the map. And the second DLC is... Given its own island and its own map is nice. You know, I'm in fact going to complain about this more, so get ready. Sorry, I've got hiccups because of all the coffee I drank. Wash it down with some, uh, with some salt and pretzels, I'm thinking. Okay. You have to save a lot more often. I mean, I should have been saving more often to begin with, but... Oh! I just took a wrong path way earlier. Okay, so I am on the right track now. Although, I'm glad that I... I I had that wrong path because I stumbled into a play that I now appeared in. Almost want to go back and do all the wrong options. I gotta say, is this really what passes for a fucking sewer system in Mournhold? Like, I don't like Vivek City, but like, when they say a sewer, they mean a fucking sewer. Like, this is... This is a rinky-dink operation here. Like, it's literally just a bunch of caves under the, under the water. I made another wrong turn here. Almost all um, Elder Scrolls DLCs now follow this pattern of like large DLC that adds a large island, smaller DLC that adds like a castle or a keep or something. I have not played Knights of the Nine, 
the first Oblivion DLC, I think. But of what I've been told, I am led to believe that it just adds, like, a castle. And then the Shivering Isles is, of course, a whole island. <laughs> Bro. Oh, he had the wrong potion in his hand. He was trying to drink a potion of slow falling when he should have been drinking a potion of water breathing. Ah, that's irony. I love that. He had a potion of slow falling in his hand. And water breathing still in his pocket, and he drowned. <laughs> Fucking dummy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, but yeah, and then in this game, Mornhold, like, as far as I can tell, I guess I don't leave the city. Um, so, you know, we're, we have one large castle or keep. That's Mournhold. That's this game's DLC. And then, um... In, uh, in Skyrim, Dawnguard adds Castle Volcahar and Dawnguard Keep. You know, two castles, but still a castle. And then it adds Solstheim again. Just like Blood Moon, this game's second DLC. And, like, I still just adore how the Skyrim DLC and the Morrowind DLC are, in fact, the same island. Like, that really does put a smile on my face. The fact that, like, we have only ever seen this game in DLCs. But because of how it works, we have been able to go back and see it again. And, like, it's one of the only places where we can really appreciate the differences of time passage. Is Solstheim in um, Elder Scrolls Online? Because I would love to compare that as well. I know that, like, Morrowind is totally saw someone walking over here. Oh, I guess I must have been here, huh? Come on. Well, thank you. Yep. Totally getting lost down here. Fucking sewer levels, huh? It doesn't bode well for the DLC, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I know that most of Skyrim, I think almost all of it, and all of Morrowind, all of Vardenfell, have been added to Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, I think there's more that I haven't explored in this way. Explore down here enough. Or does this dead end? Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I don't know if they've added Soul Sun to ESO yet. That's so weird. It only just now occurred to me that, like, as far as I know, the first DLC for every Elder Scrolls is adding, like, a single keep or city or something like that and then the second one's an island oh yeah yeah you is okay, there cool. something you need let's get a heal gun. okay that journal updated must be the dark brotherhood thing Come and get it. Hot and spicy. Just how you like it. Silver dagger. I, I need a helmet, so I'm going to take yours, if you don't mind. Thank you. Alright, come and get it. Drink spicy. How many are there? Actually, you know what? I want to try to get this whole DLC without, like, sleeping or resting. I don't know why, but that's just occurred. I want to do that. Get 
him. Thank you. Okay. So this adamantium jink blade of wolves. Not very good in terms of its charge. But who knows? Maybe it'll... I, I, I may be able to get some use out of it. He did drain it pretty prestigiously by beating me over the head with it, though. And again, if I had some fucking... That's what we got here. Oh. Right, cool. Oh, that'll be useful. Ooh, and a flame watch rock. I still have not used that potion of heroism. hate you, he says. Why you gotta make it so personal, dude? <clears throat> yeah, um, for those who don't know, there's a... quite a reputation for sewer levels in video games. One being that they're fucking everywhere. And two being that they're usually boring and Inspired. And these ones are like kind of combined with the caves Die, of Morrowind, and like I've already seen so many fucking Morrowind caves. God, the Dark Brotherhood mask is so like dark. It doesn't even look like my character has a face. How much charge does this have? Not a lot. Oh, but it does the damage, though. Boy, does it do some damage. All right, All right let's pop a save. You what are you packing? Silver dag. Let's sleep for... Yeah, I didn't think so. Somehow I suspected that I would not be able to sleep in this actual dungeon. Okay, so Moral Manor. It must suck to like Let me live. Let me live, he said. Don't attack me, dickhead. You're the one hitting me. Okay. Oh, I haven't used any of the interventions. They probably both have their own thing. Thank you. He's got another one of these, so I'll be taking that. Thank you. Am I floating? Oh, I am. Let me activate that float on it. These buildings are kind of interesting. Death from above. And of course, like, all you're doing is making me matter and draining the the magic of my sword. Because that's what this is now. That's my sword. God damn it. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, I've got these. I do, fuck all. Well, I'll get them out of my inventory at least. Oh. 
Fall over. Thank you. The fact that they're called Punishers. So I don't have a healing spell now, do I? Feather. Do I have any med? Oh, I do! That's probably too much. <laughs> it definitely is, considering it's still overfilling. There you go. Um, restoration is here. check because nothing happened. Okay, so it's not terrible. Okay, back in. Oh, cool. I got a level. See, I have no idea of the forward path here. You bitch! Again, very, very brave thing to say. You beat. Considering you are starting a fight with the Messiah of Morrowind. And you're like, you're already beaten. There is no escape. And I am, in fact, clubbing you over the back of the head with uh, a spiked ebony mace. What is this thing? It's a demon mace, but I think it's properly a ebony mace. A lot of new textures and stuff I'm seeing here. It's pretty cool. One thing that you always want to make sure that, like, a DLC does is that it feels like vanilla, you know? Uh, I've recently been replaying Doom, actually. Uh, and of the original Doom, there are three episodes that are considered, like, purely canon, I think. Where am I? Moral Manor. Ooh, a box. I bet there will be nothing good in it. Cups. Yeah, they're pretty expensive cups. Over and come me. Uh, do I got any booze to drink? That's cheating. I love it. Can't keep my grubby little hands off of goodies and loot. Don't know what it is, all. Anyway, of the original Doom, there are four episodes that came out. But, like, some people do not like the fourth one at all. Corpse. Rusty key and the small chest that's empty. Let's go ascending then. I'm <laughs> air over encumbered. Uh, can I pop that thing again? Sure can. I feel as though I'm going about this in the wrong way. Okay. Let's get one hour in. Okay. Um, I'll get personality because I haven't gotten any of that yet. And I'll get... Um, I'll get intelligence. All right, and now I will cast Mighty Blows and a 
my sweaty pants. To get it started in, huh? Oh, that's a bug. That's a bug. Don't know if that's an open Morrowind bug or if that's a bug found in Morrowind. Now, it may not do anything. It's maybe a waste of my time in coming up here. But damn it, I'm exploring. My buff boy ring on. Ring of mighty. Amu of mighty powers. And this leads nowhere. I hope it left nowhere because I just left all the goddamn down. I'm gonna work my way out of this cave and find the way to the objective off camera. But until then, I've been Alfred. This has been Tribunal, and I hope everyone has a good day. Uh, thanks for coming back for more Morrowind. So, uh, yeah, bye.